Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Bob Green, aka Pamu. Today I am back with yet another top five countdown here for you guys. We're talking about the top five legendary modules. And the way I'm basing this, it's kind of my own personal preference and opinion, but also when I see the legendary mo the legendary mods on this list are ones that really change the, the, the playstyle of the ship, or at least the freedom and ability of the ship. So that could, for example, be something that already improves on something a ship has a strength in. That could be improving dispersion or improving concealment. Or it could be something that directly makes a ship playable. So basically a, a buff. Um, it should have been a buff, but it, it ended up being a legendary module so Wargaming could make money. That's kind of the way I'm looking at it. So I hope you guys can, you know, justify my picks. So yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, coming in at the number five spot, we have the Henry the Fourth Henri IV main battery loader. This gives you main battery reload time minus ten percent. So if you take the reload mod, I believe that's eight percent. So it is a little bit better than the reload mod, but at the cost of that, you get plus twelve surface detection. And if you were to take the concealment systems in your third slot, it would bring that down to I believe just plus two percent if we go off of basic math rules I'm, I'm not too sure that how they count that but basically you you get better reload at the cost of your concealment so what you go into is called a lighthouse build why do i like this legendary mod well it's certainly not because it, it improves the ship actually your survivability chances or the way you have to play it it becomes drastically more difficult because you can't just hang back you have to proactively be moving around you could, of course, slot the concealment system in the in the third slot here and go, you know, the safe route, which honestly is the best option for many. But what I do, I take the speed module in the third slot and then I go full speed lighthouse build. What does lighthouse mean? It means that you are a beacon of light. Everybody can see you. You have zero concealment in your build, which means that battleships will be able to have the same concealment distance as you. I think it's super fun. I think it's something that Henry doesn't need but it, if you are good at henry and if you like flanking that type of play style it just makes it even more fun so yeah that's the number five slot and uh we're gonna get into some more you know really beneficial legendary mods here this is probably the least beneficial out of all of them all right coming in at the number four spot here we have the armament modification for petro pavlovs this gives you 50 percent extra main battery survivability it gives you 10 percent faster main battery traverse speed and it gives you a 4% faster reload time in the third slot. So that means you can also put reload module or put dispersion module or even, uh, you know, main battery traverse if you wanted to. This means that you can buff your guns twice. It is absolutely a game changer with Petro. And it's the only thing I really would urge Petro players to grind up to. If you don't want to pay the 5,000 gold, grind up to that, you know, 2,500 free XP because it is such a good legendary module. I remember when this thing came out, I, I I was completely relieved because it meant that we can actually pay, play the ship now. It was kind of an estate before where it didn't really fit in because the other, you know, Soviet cruisers were just better. But with this legendary module, I definitely think Petro is in a very good state. Now, do you need it? <sighs> I'm kind of inclined to say yeah, I would say that because it's just a different ship with without it. Um, now, some, some of you guys probably you know don't don't even have the legendary module and you're doing just fine so i could be completely wrong here and um yeah it's just speculation because i have not played without the legendary module ever, ever since it came out so <laughs> yeah that's that's kind of why i i just i might be a little biased towards this leg mod but um it is really good guys you gotta have to trust me here and it's definitely worth either 5k gold or 250 free xp so let us move on to the next module here in the number three spot. Coming in at the number three spot, we have the improved ammunition hoists from the Grosser Curve first. This gives you a main battery reload time minus 10%, so three seconds off, man. Secondary battery minus 15 and the autos minus 15, but at the cost of 7% of your range. So some people would say that's really bad, but I think it's one of the better mods because it completely changes the playstyle of this ship. You can either now pick the sniper route or the brawler tanky route. That, you know, you have to, you know, keep in mind though that the space camo is kind of needed to make this brawler build really work. But for me personally, man, when this came out, it just made GK kind of viable again. I was not playing a lot of GK before this, but I have to get it on my main account and I absolutely just have to play with it. 
there's no real big reasons to why this is number three. I just absolutely love the, the, the mod and I think it's a it's a fun, you know, versatile ship now when you have this. The only thing we need now from Wargaming is them letting us equip and de uh, unequip these legendary modules and save them so we don't have to buy them again. So if you want to try something else, say you want to play Sniper GK, you take off your legendary module and there you go. So yeah, that's the number three spot. And uh, I want to save time to talk about the next coming up here because they're really, really good. All right, so the next on my list here, number two spot, is actually a shared spot between uh, two very, very similar ships. And uh, it is the Minotaur and Daring Legendary mods. They're both propulsion legendary mods. The Minotaur one here gives you plus 25 traverse acceleration and normal acceleration, which is crazy, at the cost of some, you know, of your engine and steering gear survivability, which, I mean, I think that's a very fair trade because considering Minnow is just chilling in the smoke most of the time, you won't really be hit by it, right? And the other one is the daring one, the advanced propulsion for daring, which is plus three max speed and plus 15 acceleration. There's no nerfs to this. So even though I don't play daring, I was looking at the legendary modules and I, I just thought, okay, they're doing kind of the same thing. And considering I play a lot of Minotaur, a ton of Minotaur, I love the ship. And I definitely will would, would advise people to get the legendary mod from Minnow. It's it, it's not highly necessary, but it just propels the ship again. You know, these legendary modules that just make something that's already good about a ship, a good characteristic about a certain ship, it makes it even better. And Minnow, as you all know, is really good at turning and accelerating, decelerating, as well as daring. So these two legendary modules, I am pretty sure are some of the best ones out there um now like i said i don't play daring but i played it a little bit and i know how how much that thing turns already and then you add on some better acceleration well it's very very hard to hit all of a sudden i wonder I, i'm guessing that's why when you see people like steve or in general we just had rule of the waves and all these people running jervis or lightning or jutland um if it is a tier 10 i'm pretty sure that we're gonna see people running the legendary mod in daring i think it's almost a must because it's just such a huge change and with minnow here i mean now i've played with it a little bit uh well not a little bit a ton of years now this steering gear survivability and power system survivability it's it's honestly not that bad and you would you would you know damage control it anyways and what's going to give you that type of uh damage is going to be big battleship or cruiser salvos and torpedoes at the rear if it's a torpedo you might as well you know you're going to get flooded maybe anyways so you will damage control i, I think saving or sort of using a damage control for you know a being able to move and propel the ship is probably one of the most worth dcps and one of the reasons why you would save them and we're actually fighting a minnow in this uh, instance right here um, i'm pretty sure this guy doesn't do anything for um <laughs> for free you know trying to avoid my salvos but i actually just kind of wait him out here but actually we also talked about the henry it was number five on the list which i am running the uh, the module the lighthouse build module with the with the leg mod in the front or in the first slot so we are using that here but i don't think yeah i don't think minnow is running that but yeah that is the number two spot daring and minnow guys if you have either one of those ships i would suggest saving up for that you know legendary module it's uh you don't sacrifice anything because you would put propulsion anyways so both of the ships benefit from it in my you know in my head it, it makes sense at least i mean you could talk about the acceleration on minnow is probably the one that gets boosted the most 25 percent, but you also get a nerf the next one on our list is probably a legendary module that for those of you who've tried it you know that it completely changes the ship in question it only gives buffs. It has probably the best placement in the, you know, equipment brackets, if you can call it that. And it is probably one of the most crazy legendary mods in the game. I'm, of course, talking about the Sao Steering Gear module. This module gives you max traverse speed plus 10%, so you turn better. Your traverse acceleration is also faster, so, you know, you, yeah, you turn, you accelerate in the turns faster. And then on top of that, you get minus 5% surface detection. And keep this in mind, guys, it's the second slot equipment, so that means you can put a surface or concealment module in the third slot. Bringing your concealment down to, I believe it's something like 7 point something kilometers. It's actually crazy for a ship like Sao. 
and it's what the ship needs in my opinion to really work especially if you're playing versus cvs um just having that shorter concealment range helps you quite a bit and it helps you when you're kiting as well when you have to kite in sao you could just stop shooting and you're basically you're, you basically have the same concealment distance as a you know a, a, a gunboat dd it is actually crazy um, I love playing with the Sao Legendary module. It's one of the first ones I purchased and after that I kind of got a little bit addicted to Legendary mods. I don't necessarily think it's a good idea with Legendary mods. I mean, we know what Wargaming are doing with them. It's instead of buffing a ship that dearly needs a buff. I mean, let's look at the the last ones that came out, not the GK Republic, but the Howden Leo, right? That thing needed something to help it out. It's not quite what it needed, the extra bombs, but it's nice and people of course buy it. I bought it. The Elbing got an interesting one as well, um, but I will say this, I do still like them, I think it's an interesting way to play and uh, mod your ship. I just wish, like I said before with the GK, that you could take off a module, like for example with this Henry here. If I don't want to play with the Lighthouse build anymore, if I want to just play normal Henry, maybe go Concealment build this time, yeah, you can't do that without wasting 5,000 gold or the free XP you might have spent on it. So yeah, that is kind of my video here, guys. Uh, let me know what your favorite legendary modules are. I uh, feel like this is the list, at least for me, that that represent the most which which legendary modules I really like. And Sal definitely is the highest on the list. This thing just it completely changes the game with the Sal. So we ha if we have some Sal players out there or aspiring Sal players, someone who's grinding through it, give yourself the treat and the favor of trying to grind some free xp while you're doing it save the free xp don't you know skip through a bookie just just grind it man and once you get to sour you can buy the legendary module my name has been bubbling aka pabloon have a great day and i'm signing out